Still in the aftermath of Devin Haney's move to super lightweight, the belts at 135 seem to finally be sorted out. Shakur Stevenson quickly snatched up the WBC, while the WBA awarded regular title holder Javante Davis the elevated world title. The WBO has Emmanuel Navarrete scheduled to face Dennis Berenchik for their vacant belt on May 18th, but six days before that, the IBF will crown their lightweight king when Vasily Lomachenko squares off with George Cambosis Jr. in Perth. Both men have taken extremely different paths to get to this point. For Loma, his reputation precedes him. The word experience doesn't even begin to cover it. Competing in a reported 396 amateur bouts, winning all but one, and collecting two Olympic gold medals before switching to professional. A historic run from 2014 to 2019 saw him capture world titles in three divisions, win 13 straight, and score nine knockouts. But a bad night out against Teofimo Lopez brought him back to reality, and he's been searching for a world title ever since. Using Teofimo Lopez as our bridge over to Cambosis, the Aussie put on the performance of his life when he took the three belts off of Teo. It was a long payoff for Cambosis, who had worked his way to 19-0 before that match. Never expected to give much of a test to Lopez, who was hailed as the next big thing, Ferocious was the better man that night and became a unified champion. After that, he drew into Devin Haney for a chance to become undisputed, and while he would fall short in the two matches they had, he was never dropped and never took his foot off the gas. On paper, this is Lomachenko's fight to lose. He has the pedigree, the legit championship experience. The combinations are flawless. His intelligence is off the charts, knowing exactly when to attack and the angles at which to do so. The problem is the complacency. He seemingly took rounds off against Lopez early in the fight, then came outright and said he did against Haney. Just like Tio and Haney, Cambosis is not someone you can take lightly. What he lacks in technical ability, he more than makes up for with grit and toughness from bell to bell. It was hard work that brought him to 19-0 and earned him a title shot. It was determination that won him that fight against the heavy favorite and overconfident Teofimo Lopez. That drive, combined with his high work rate and big right hand, make him a nightmare for anyone who chooses to underestimate him. Despite having successful careers already, this can be looked at as a proven performance for both guys. On Lomachenko's side, it's does he still have it? Since that run, he's gone three and two with both losses coming in title bouts. It's crazy to say that a guy with two Olympic gold medals and world titles in three divisions has anything left to prove. But in boxing, it's not what have you done for me, it's what have you done for me lately. Another loss could see him removed from the world title picture, and at 36 years old, maybe into retirement. For Ferocious, he needs to prove that he is truly world class, and that his win over Lopez was no fluke. That he deserves the accolades he's accumulated, not because of an opponent's night off. If he can take out Loma, it may have people thinking differently about that night back in 2021. All questions will be answered when a new IBF lightweight champion is crowned on May 12th.